Good morning everyone. This is Pastor John Stewart here at Napanee Baptist Church. It's Wednesday, April the 28th and uh, it's good to be with you again. And of course here in southern Ontario we are dealing with this latest lockdown and it's uh, getting a little stressful and challenging to have to go through another one at this time but we are trusting the God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever, uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And he is watching over us and watching over our church. And uh, I am just looking back over these last 14 months during this pandemic, and it's just been amazing uh, what the Lord has done. And he continues to uphold us and keep us and uh, protect us. So keep trusting, keep looking up, and we need him every moment, every day, but we also need each other and we need our local church. So that's why we have these visits with the pastor. So if you can join together with me, if you have your Bible, uh, we're going to have our little Bible reading, and then I will pray and we will commit our day to the Lord. So if you can turn in your Bibles to the book of Psalms, we've just started a little series in Psalms, and if you can turn to Psalm 28, Psalm 28, it says, To you, Lord, I call, you are my rock, do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call out to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy place. Verse 3, do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what they have done and bring back on them what they deserve. Verse 5, because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will tear them down and never build them up again. Verse 6, Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield, and my heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. Verse 8, The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation, for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Some wonderful truths here. Some wonderful promises. Verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. That means he empowers me and helps me and gives me the strength I need when I'm weak, but he also protects me. He is my shield. And then the psalmist says, my heart trusts in him and he helps me. And not only does my heart trust in him and I have that promise that he's going to help me, but my heart also leaps for joy, he says at the end of verse 7. Why can we have joy in the midst of trouble? in the midst of heartache, or in, even in the midst of a pandemic. And he says, with my song, I praise him. Because we are trusting in a God who has proven himself over and over again. And when we are putting our faith in him and we are uh, experiencing his presence and his help, and he gives us victory, that's why we can rejoice and we can be thankful and we can praise him because we know that he's always there for us. Verse 8, the Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Verse 9, save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Just think about that. The picture here, the analogy, the illustration, is that the Lord carries us sometimes, like a shepherd with his little sheep. 
And what a wonderful picture of when we can't help ourselves, God comes, our great shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. He comes and he carries us like he would a little lamb. And he carries us along. And the promise here is forever, every day. I don't know about you, but there are some days where I need to be picked up. I need to be cradled. I need to be hugged and comforted. And God is our wonderful shepherd. The Lord said, I am the great shepherd. I am the shepherd who takes care of the sheep. And may that be your encouragement this morning as we continue on during this time of uncertainty. May you keep looking to him and trusting him and believing that he will take care of you. He will pick you up in times of trouble. Let's pray together and just commit our day to him. And please, again, I say this many times during our visits, please contact me if you would like to just talk or have a visit, or if you uh, need some counseling, please give me a call, because I know a lot of people are struggling with isolation and uh, being by themselves. So please uh, don't hesitate to give the, the church office a call or call me personally, and uh, we'll get together. And also keep our church in your prayers. We still come together. We're allowed 10 people here at the church. So we still come together on Wednesday afternoons and we have our prayer meeting and our Bible study. So we are continuing to pray, but we need your prayers. If you can't make it out, we need your prayer support. And uh, we need your, to be honest, we need your financial support too during this time. And we all need each other. So please keep our church in prayer and keep being uh, diligent and committed to the Lord in, in this area of supporting our local church and being uh, a part of our family. So let's just pray and commit our day to him. Father, we thank you and we praise you that you are our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. We don't have to be in any kind of need when we trust you and we look to you. You will take care of us. You will carry us along forever, this psalm says. And we just thank you for that assurance. We thank you for that promise. I pray that you'll bless each one today who's watching and our entire church family. And I pray that you'll continue to uh, be there for us, uh, give a, to give us strength and to protect us uh, all the way along. So, Lord, we thank you that you have been such a faithful God to us in the past. And we know that you are there every minute of every day to be our support and our help. And we thank you that we have you as our hope. We have Jesus Christ as our precious hope, a hope that goes beyond this life, a hope of salvation and a hope of eternal life. And we give you praise. I pray that you'll bless each one today and encourage each heart. And we give you this time in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you bright and early on Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.